Asheville City Council members got a look at the proposed budget at tonight's meeting, and leaders are faced with a situation complicated by some major issues the city has no say in. A lot of Asheville's financial plan for the year ahead hinges on matters still to be decided at the state and county level, so contingency is likely the key word. News 13's Frank Crocker is streaming live downtown. Frank, what does this boil down to for taxpayers? Well, the good news is very little impact for the taxpayer. The odd thing about all this is that the word budget should be plural. This is unlike any budget we have put together because, in fact, we're putting together three budgets. Asheville City Manager Gary Jackson made a complex situation sound simple. Three contingencies you're aware of and three plans that we have in place depending upon important decisions that are made at the legislative level. Those decisions involve unknowns, like the level of statewide tax reform finally enacted. Whether the planned Buncombe County Culture and Recreation Authority takes over some expensive city facilities. Then there's that issue we certainly hear plenty about. As of now, we're budgeting as though the water system were going to stay with the city of Asheville. If it were to go, that's $1.9 million we're going to need to come up with. There's still a lot of uncertainty in the environment, especially when it comes to the state legislature and what might happen with les um, bills that have been proposed but haven't actually become law and what the impact might be. The proposed impact on taxpayers stays essentially flat. Only a one cent increase per $100 property valuation. The city workforce gets a 3% pay raise after years of low or no increases at all. I think the city of Asheville has done a remarkable job when it comes to maintaining its core services but minimizing the impact on the taxpayer during a very difficult financial time. So now it's essentially a waiting game to see what Raleigh and Buncombe County do and then pick one of the proposed budgets. And before all of that can happen, there will be a public hearing. That is June 11th, and there are always public hearings with just about anything. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.